Part of the technical team at Sundowns requires commitment and many days away from home during the long season. So Sky's the Limit decided to take analyst Gulam Velodia and his wife Bashira away for a little R&R. Their destination, Clifftop exclusive safari hideaway. Situated in the Waterberg, just three hours from their home, it seemed the perfect place for Gulam to recover from the rigors of last season and a great place for us to get some insight into what an analyst for a football team does. Gulam, why a football analyst? It's in my blood. I think the first thing I did when I got up was kick a football eh? My mom and dad always said I started walking when I was seven months old and kicking a ball when I was eight months old, so. It's interesting because he's genuinely an analyst. I think it's when I, when I look at a football match, it's the ability to recognize what supporters don't. Amisco is his stats software of choice. I think Amisco is it's a technological base which allows us to take the media or the video footage from a match and synchronize it with actual stats that they provide to us. The fact is that stats don't lie and what it enables us to do is look at a match of an opponent and identify weaknesses and strengths and then tactically prepare ourselves to manipulate their defense and defensive weaknesses and also prepare ourselves for different strengths that they have where they could exploit us. I think it's no longer the future of football, it is football at the moment. Like any other aspect, it's like your physical trainer, your coach, it's, gonna, it's part of the technical team now. If you look at the biggest teams in the world, the Manchester United, Chelsea, Real Madrid, they swear by you. Someone like Mourinho, he's a fan favorite of Tomasco, he uses it wherever he goes. We technically prepare for a match over a week. We play 90 minutes, but a player on average has a direct impact in a match for only a minute. The player understands that he has that limited amount of time to positively impact the match is very important. To the team, it's, I don't think you can put a value on that sort of information. We use it to look at uh, team performances for our own and obviously our position, like we said, but I also use it as a tool for identifying players that might fit into the culture of Sundowns football. Sebastian has exposed me to different types of dung. What dung looks like when it's one week old and how a dung beetle actually goes into the dung. And it just opens the dung so that the scent lasts longer. And in the process of doing that, sometimes they kick over loose sand and um, soil underneath is much cooler and it's wet. We got him to, to do little animal sounds for us. <laughs> explaining to me that did you hear the baboon and I would not hear the baboon. Is that the baboon there in the radio? No, no, no. He's like, oh! And he'd say, did you see the bird? And I have bad eyesight, so I couldn't see the bird. Yeah. And then we got to the most amazing yet fearful experience of my life. Oh, it was quite amazing. Um, what happened was uh, we spotted it in the road um, in the beginning, heading towards us. And he looks at me and he goes, shh. And as it came right past the vehicle, I noticed that it was an elephant bull in must. Oh, they're quite dangerous because um, they're very temperamental, just looking for a uh, fight, they're looking for something to push around. Um, and it got within, within like touching distance from the vehicle. How's that, eh? <laughs> Whether it's local here, whether it's European, football is glamour. I think when you're in it, you really realize that it's only glamour to the outsider. Being on the inside, you don't rest. You, you really are working 24 hours a day, whether you're an analyst, whether you're a physio, whether you're a player, because everything you do is about football. It's a choice of two starters, where you've got your lovely tomato consomme to go with uh, prawn and uh, hank medallions. And your other choice starter, it's uh, camembert brulee 
with the strawberry and fig sauce. I think football is in Gulam's blood. Um, it's not just something that he loves, it's something that he he's passionate about. And that's the difference between just being an analyst and loving what you do. Uh, I think doing what you love doesn't always give you the, the comforts or benefits of everything else. To be away from home maybe two, at least two days, sometimes three days a week, a match, at least not even a week. To play two games a week, you might only see me at home after seven odd days or so. For me, as, as, a, as a dad of three kids and a wife, it is challenging. It's when you're away from home, you miss home, and when you're at home, you don't really have a chance to enjoy it because you're still working. And that's the difficulty. It's been a great, great experience. I think the, 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 the hardest part or the thing you forget is you forget your family, you forget your wife sometimes, you forget your kids. And coming away just with the wife, just sort of makes you realize why you married, why you have a family. I would recommend this to anyone that just wants to, to have peace and serenity. Not only for soccer players, but preferably because they're never around. So this is quality time at, at the optimum, because this is exactly what you get here. I can't even begin to explain to you how magnificent the view is from the bedroom. What blew my mind is the fact that it's so private. For the first 10 minutes, we looked at each other because we didn't know what to say to each other. No, I mean, there's no laptop, so Glam is out of his comfort zone. When you walk in, it's got the sense of the absolute serenity. Um, it's open space, and you open this balcony into just the outdoors. It's, it's luxury at its ultimate. So I've had no other choice but to make sundowns a part of my family life. So I've got my three kids now singing Caballero the whole day. So even when he's not around, I have something that reminds me of him. But I've realized that that's okay because he loves what he does. And I think that's part of being a support structure to him is to be there. It's not a job for me. Something's a job when you wake up in the morning and you have to think about what you're going to do. And I don't. Just when I wake up, that's what I want to do. I'm a Puti Kenyeza, Sandra Striker. I wanted to play in professional film, but I didn't know how. It was a, this was a big problem because where I'm coming from, there's no opportunities to be a professional player. Mabuti took whatever opportunities came his way and ended up doing duty at some of the top clubs in the PSL before landing up at Sundowns. But what does he enjoy about being a footballer? I think as a professional player, it's always a new environment all the time. And then to, to be somewhere and then to have some new challenges and then you learn from there. So we get experience in different environments. This talented striker has found the back of the net more than 60 times since making his PSL debut in 2002. But it's not just his skill with the ball that he credits for his success. I'm still learning a lot. Sometimes I take a right decision, sometimes I take a wrong decision, but I learn from those decisions. But I believe as a, as a striker you need to stick in the decision that you decided at that time and then you do it. Kanyeza has donned the jerseys of Arrows, Chiefs and Ajax in his career, but it's Klurkop that he calls home now and he wears the yellow of Sundowns with pride. Oh, Sundowns is a big team and, and uh, it's nice to be here in the club because a lot of good players and they're competing with good players and you always need to be in a high level all the time in terms of a performance. With so many good players in the squad, Mabuti doesn't feel threatened but rather rises to the challenge. I think competition is all over, uh, no matter where you are, it's not all about your son as only. Because sometimes you, you just compete by yourself sometimes, because you, you need to always uh, give yourself a challenge. And then it's not all about the, you want to be in the comfort zone all the time, because you're not learning anything in the comfort zone all the time. You need to compete to be a better person or to be a better player. When it comes to training, this striker only has one mindset. Uh, you need to be positive all the time and you always motivate yourself each and every time. Sometimes you come and then 
you train bad day. You need to forget about it and then you know that it's a new day again, new training, you start again. Because sometimes you can train bad and then find that the next day in the game you, you played well. It's always challenging your mentality all the time. And then you forget about what happened. Uh, yesterday is all about the next day. If I play football, I play football. 90 minutes, I live there in football. When I'm in the community, I need to be the same like everyone who's there. I mustn't be act different than other people who are around. I think you need to always be humble and then be yourself all the time. No matter what is happening to you, you mustn't change you to be a different person in terms of the community and all over, and in terms of those people who knows you, people who grew up with you. It's always the same all the time. So the some other players, they, they don't they end up in finishing football without making to the national team. It's an achievement to each and every player. But if you get that opportunity, I think it's the right thing for you as a player. You learn and then you meet some different coaches, different players, play different countries, and then to start to understand how they deal, how is their football, and how is everything in that different uh, in those countries. And then it's always about learning, learning all the time. I can't say I'm going to complain. I think my job is to play football and then to train football. I'm always positive, no matter where I'm playing. In the street, at home, or wherever, I'm always positive all the time. I always try my best. If I fail, I fail, but I didn't cheat myself like to, to try. I always tell myself I want to try each and every time, all the time. That's it for this episode of Sky's the Limit. Until next month, don't forget to wear your yellow. Hey, tada, as day day. Cabuyelo, ay, 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 cabuyelo, ay, 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 cabuyelo.